Hi guys, Candace Kane here. I was the first transgendered woman to play a transgendered part on primetime television. Life is this little weird road that you have to follow, but as long as you do it for the right reasons and you're true to yourself, anything is possible. My teenage years were uh, kind of a blur. There were a few moments where it was really hostile. I remember one time I walked into this little square and all of a sudden there were six guys around me, all yelling at me, calling me faggot, calling me maggot. Um, are you one boy or one girl? And one of them came up and hit me in the face. I didn't understand why people would try to hurt me. Anything possible in my journey is my journey. I started on this earth uh, one gender and ended up as another. My first experience with having different feelings was really when I was young, when I was seven years old. I just assumed that those feelings were because I was gay and I liked everything that was feminine and I liked boys. In my age bracket, there was nothing on television that told a transgendered woman what she was. I didn't really know how to deal with that except for go into drama and so I fell head over heels in love with drama class and going to acting and dancing and singing. When I was in high school, I did a production of La Caja Fall and it was the first time that I had worn dresses as a late teen and I felt so at home and comfortable with this. More and more I realized that I was happier when I was living my life as female. I remember sitting at this makeup table in my first apartment in New York City. I had a couple of candles lit and I had this light, this moment, uh, and I said, I want to grow old as a woman. I don't want to grow old as a man. I have two parents, when they met me as Candace for the first time, uh, they dealt with it in a really, really amazing way. My dad, I remember him saying to me, uh, this makes so much more sense now. I s always saw you as being a girl. He said to me, um, you're the only person in my life that I've ever met that's followed their heart completely. And so that meant a lot. I went to New York and thought, this is what I want to do. I want to be a dancer, I want to be an actress, um, and I'm just going to do it. And I slept on couches, I ate Top Ramen. When I auditioned for Dirty Sexy Money, I didn't realize how big it was and what a life-changing thing it would be. The show was pushing the social fabric forward. One night, I was in Hollywood, and I went to this big event in the gay community. I got a standing ovation. And it wasn't until then that I realized that this isn't about me. It's so much more than just my little story. It's the story that there's some kid in Kansas that's sitting there and he sees me for the first time and he thinks, oh my God, I'm not evil. I am a living, breathing testament to the fact that nothing, and I mean nothing, is impossible. It's really about being confident in who you are and knowing that no matter what people say to you, no matter how hard it gets, you have to just kind of find the inner strength and think this is who I am as a human being and as a person and what I am and who I am is right and is good. There were times in my life that I didn't know what was gonna happen next, but I made it through I followed my dreams. I became a primetime actress. Anything's possible.